It's definitely time to till in the chamomile patch too. It's just simply gone over to weeds at this point. Hello lovelies, I'm Angela and this is Parisian Farm Girl. Bienvenue, welcome to the channel. I'm hiding out here in the shade. It is a beautiful day in Sister Bay. Today, I get to just enjoy my garden a little bit. I'm going to read, I'm gonna walk around, observe, stop and smell the roses. Well, the roses aren't blooming yet, but goodness knows there's plenty blooming. And I have a new garden bed. So, previously, I shared with you the, the good and the bad of my spring garden. We are late spring here in Door County. The season is just gearing up. You can feel the heat coming. I'm so excited. But I shared with you the chamomile bed that really was done. I've had a chamomile bed since we created this garden six years ago and as with an herb like that it um, you know it was probably 40% chamomile and 60% grass. So I had Joel till it in and I had in mind to bring a little elegance to that corner of the garden, of course, being inspired by Giverny. As always, in Monet's garden, he has rose standards occasionally. So I found a few rose standards out when I was grocery shopping one day, and I got this idea. Hmm, I think I'm going to tidy up the chamomile bed. Now, when you see the end result at the end of this video, you'll see that it's a little empty. This is a baby bed, so the iris will double and quadruple in size and the dahlia will get bigger and here and there I've mixed in some annuals just to sort of hold me over as I divide perennials this fall and really start to fill this bed out. But for now I'm inviting you to come with me. This video is a little slower than usual. A lot of times I would take this amount of work and edit it down to about three minutes but I'm gonna show you how much work is involved in creating a new bed, and I get to check something off of my to-do list in doing so. What I've done in, in creating this new bed uh, for gardeners might be a little bit controversial. So we've tilled the chamomile in, I rake it out, and I'm covering this space with weed tarp. I don't like to use weed tarp in my garden. I'm just using it for the season, though, to kill the weeds, and you'll see at the end, I've got a nice big layer of mulch over the top. And at the end, I will cut through and pull that out gently. And hopefully that will really help with the weeds having had died, baking out over the summer. And I'll add a really, really thick layer of mulch going into the fall and winter. So that's my strategy. Um, cardboard isn't going to cut it in this space. The grass is just going to grow right through because cardboard decomposes so quickly. So for this bed that was in dire need of some serious weed control and some beauty for the season, I'm using weed tarp. Again, this video is nice and slow. There's a whole lot of work here. It took me about a day and a half. I'm thrilled with the results. It looks neat. It looks tidy. So let's get to work really quick. I want to share with you something that I love. Vivaya shoes are a favorite key part of my wardrobe. They are the shoes you saw me last year. I wore them climbing all the stairs in the Eiffel Tower. Here's why I love them. Timeless, classic designs, ultimate comfort, and eco-friendly materials. This spring, I added to my wardrobe the Margot Walker Square V-Cut. They are like walking around on clouds, so flexible, so fabulous. I also added the pointed toe knot sandals. Vivaya shoes have an amazing upgraded insole, arch support. These shoes are comfortable for long walks. But really what I think I'm most excited about is these cuties. I love a good pair of trainers and these are the new Urban. It's getting warmer out with these socks are no longer required. And slip fin, which is an improved entry shape for single motion entry and exit. No more bending over and tying laces. I have really flat feet and I have to be stylish and I have to have that support for my feet and just keep my arches from hurting during the day. I have fabulous discounts for my Parisian Farm Girl viewers. Don't forget to click the video description. Treat yourself to some new eco-friendly, super comfortable, ultimately stylish and classic shoes.
is made of straw. Thank you for joining me today. 
We have a long, beautiful season of gardening ahead of us, and I'm really happy that you're here for it. Of course, I'm inviting you to Paris in 2025. The 2024 trips are all sold out. If you'd like to be the first to know when we drop the dates next week about the 2025 trips, click this Eiffel Tower right here and get on that mailing list. You'll be the first to find out. Space is very limited. I will see you all again very soon. A bientôt.